Hi there, Joey from DayJobHacks.com. Today I'm going to give a full CPA affiliate marketing tutorial, how to make thousands of dollars a day with cost per acquisition marketing, okay? I'm gonna describe everything I do. I've been doing this for over a decade. I've made a living online using cost per acquisition marketing and you are going to see exactly how you can begin. I'm gonna show you some examples, how to get traffic, how to set this up properly so that you can also build a business at the same time. This is exactly how I've built my business online. People who watch this channel and who are also part of my um, elite training are well aware of the amount of money that can be made using cost per acquisition marketing. You can now be part of that by watching this training. I'm gonna show you everything on this video, exactly how to do it, okay? So I'm gonna show you inside a couple of my affiliate accounts. I'm gonna also show you how you can get started and why it is a great way to monetize your website, okay? Basically, cost per acquisition marketing is just a different way of affiliate marketing where you get paid to get people to co uh, commit an action online, okay? So you get people to either sign up for a lead form, so maybe you're trying to pitch a financial product where you're trying to get somebody to get a quote for their auto insurance, or maybe you're trying to you know, sell a free trial to someone where they can try something for free and they don't have to enter a credit card, yet you still get paid a commission. Or there's an example where you can get somebody to just enter an email address and you would get paid a small commission. These are called sometimes sweepstakes offers where you actually just uh, run traffic to an email submit offer. There's a whole bunch of different types of offers available as a cost per acquisition or cost per action affiliate. And the fancy word for this is called performance marketing, okay? All of these networks out there, CPA affiliate networks, call themselves performance marketing networks or CPA affiliate networks, CPL, which is cost per lead. There's cost per action, there's cost per install. All of these are bundled in the same industry, which is performance marketing. And this is where a lot of affiliate marketers focus their time on, especially paid media buyers such as myself where I am buying traffic to landing pages and I'm either collecting leads for myself or I'm actually collecting leads for another company and they are paying me very decent commissions to do so, okay? For example, you can earn up to $50 just for getting somebody to fill in a form online and I'm gonna show you where you can get those forms, where you can get those offers and how you can do all of that, okay? And we're gonna go into my computer here in a second and I'm gonna show you exactly how to set this all up. But first, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, like, comment or share this video and make sure that if you have any questions, you post them down below because I will be here to answer any questions. And as we continue forward in this training, there may be some things that you wanna ask, feel free again to comment below. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's go into my computer and let's start the training on how to become a really profitable CPA affiliate. Okay, so just so you know that I'm not blowing smoke, uh, I wanna show you just one of the, the stats here. This is from yesterday. This is one CPA affiliate network account where my revenue was roughly $2,452 and, uh, $2, yesterday, um, just um, running traffic to a CPA affiliate offer, okay? This is a C CPA network that I'm in. There are many CPA networks like this that use the exact same software. It is called Cake Marketing. That is just one type of software that is available that you can, you can join to, to these networks, okay? Now inside a CPA affiliate network, let me just show you that you know this isn't just a one day luck shot here. I'm gonna show you last month's statistics on this one particular network. And what it'll do is it'll load the data from last month. And as you can see, it's about roughly $92,444 for last month. So that's even more than $2,000 a day. That's like $3,000 revenue a day from one offer. You can see here, that is one offer being run. So this is the potential that you can have if you find really good CPA affiliate offers 
and you start running traffic to them. So now obviously this is not all profit. As a CPA affiliate, you're buying traffic usually, okay? But normally the, the profit margins for CPA affiliate offers are 50% or higher depending on your tactics and what strategies you're using to buy traffic. If you have a lot of experience and you know how to track, I'm gonna talk about that here in a minute, then you're gonna make more ROI, return on investment, okay? So whatever you buy, whenever you buy traffic, say you spend $100 and then you make back 150, then you know, you're obviously making a really good ROI there, so that's what you're aiming for. Um, generally, I aim for 100% ROI, but I'm happy with anything above 50, which is kind of crazy when you think of it because as, a, as an investor, some investors try and get 10% return on their investment for the entire year when we're just trying to do this in a single day, okay? So this is the, the beauty of working on the internet. So this is Max Bounty Network. This is a network that is very popular among new affiliates, especially they accept new affiliates in Max Bounty. They have training available. I am not running traffic to Max Bounty, let me just say that. I am just using this as a typical example of what a CPA affiliate network is. Max Bounty is well known. They're seen on many YouTube videos for, for showing you know, offers that are available in the industry. You can either work with a CPA affiliate network such as Max Bounty, or you can work directly with the advertisers. So a CPA network basically brings together advertisers, which are otherwise known as product owners, the people that actually own the lead forms or actually own the products that are being sold. Those are the advertisers. We are affiliates, but also called publishers, okay? So keep that in mind. If you are coming to a CPA affiliate network, you are signing up as an affiliate, which is also called a publisher. So you're gonna fill out the publisher application. So coming into here, you would need to fill out an application. So when you wanna join as an affiliate, you just simply click there, and then you have to go through their entire process, which usually takes two to five days on most CPA affiliate networks. If you are a complete newbie and you have absolutely no experience, then it's very important that you do some initial groundwork first. First of all, you should already have a niche website built. You should also have information about the industry, how to do all of this, okay? So by watching this video right now, you will actually have the information you need, but at the same time, you should have a website built. Check out powerhouseaffiliate.com for free training on how to build your first website, choose your niche, all that fun stuff, okay? That is all basic stuff. Go in there for the free training, sign up and check it out, and then have your website built. Make sure that you're not trying to be shady here make sure it's a nice website and that it's it's something that you know when the people review your website they actually give you a CPA network account now my, many people will come through here and try and trick the networks into you know is getting them to join that this is not going to work for you trust me I've run the CPA networks myself I've own I actually own a private CPA affiliate network myself and it is extremely easy to detect when somebody's trying to lie to you so don't say that you make a ton of money. Don't lie. Just tell them the truth if you're just starting out. But at the same time, uh, be professional and, and say things that you know you think will get you accepted. So make sure if they're asking you about traffic sources, say, look, I'm looking to learn how to buy Facebook ads or Google ads or Bing ads. Um, don't ever use a VPN or a virtual private network or anything like that when you're trying to access these platforms because they can detect that. So make sure that you, um, you, you know, you're all legit that way. Also, make sure you use an email address that is linked to your website, not Gmail, not Outlook or anything like that. Use a, an email address like, if, if it was me, I would be like joey at dieting.com. Let's say I own dieting.com. That would be great if I did actually, but I don't. Um, so joey at dieting.com would be the email I use when I sign up here so they know that the website I've submitted is also the one that I own because it, it, I wouldn't be able to have that email if I didn't actually own the website. So it's one less step they need to take to try and detect if you are a real person that wants to really actually actively work with them. The reason why they're so tight is because there's so much fraud in this industry, okay? There's so many affiliates out there that think they can come into these networks and just start filling out forms and filling out email submits and getting paid. Trust me, there is so much software, there's so many detection things in place, there's teams of people, compliance teams, that are watching you every single second. As soon as you come in there and start blasting a bunch of conversions, you are under the radar, they are watching you, so make sure you have legit traffic. 
And if you don't know how to do that yet, then don't worry, there's gonna be some information about that here in a second, okay? So sign up, get your account, now you're ready to start marketing, okay? So you're gonna come in here, and this is what it looks like inside the network. Now, like I said, I don't run traffic here. I tested one offer way back in 2019. I got one conversion and I just kind of went to my own devices. I usually work direct with advertisers. I go to these um, world events like Affiliate World. I go to Las Vegas for the Affiliate Summit. I meet direct advertisers and I work with them. If you're wondering why I work direct, there's a video I'm gonna pop up right now that talks about the advantages and the disadvantages of working with CPA affiliate networks. I'm not gonna get into that here, there is a video, but if you're just starting out, I highly recommend you use a network, okay? You need to use a network first so that you have more variety in all of the offers that are available to you right here. So as you can see, there are tons of offers here. You can see here, this one here, Fix My Home, $12 per lead. They have one here, $4 per lead. So the ranges really differ. You can go from $1 a lead all the way up to $50 a lead, like I said. There's many different ways that you can go here. Um, a lot of these offers, the lower the payout, the easier it is to convert. Um, and a lot of these offers have rules in place that you need to follow when you're running traffic to them. So make sure that if you're in a particular niche, let's say I'm in the make money online niche or the investing, we'll say investing, okay? That's a good one. Um, Cause I'm looking right here at Bitcoin loophole. So this is an app. So I would get paid $3.75 every time somebody installed this app, okay? So let's just say I wanted to run that. Um, that is the action I'm getting paid for, somebody to install this app. So if I'm looking at this, I, I need to first of all figure out what are the allowed traffic types. Here you can see there's contextual, which is um, basically popovers, pop unders, in-text ads. I don't really run that much uh, contextual traffic to be honest with you. Um, display, there's others of banner images or Google display ads, stuff like that search ads which would be bang google yahoo and then they also allow social media so facebook twitter they're basically telling you all the traffic sources that you can use so if you're if you're wondering what kind of traffic to use it just basically tells you what's working many times um the ones that are blocked out are either because they're having so much success and they don't want to compete with their affiliates or because they just don't want that kind of traffic. Email and incentive traffic are high risk traffic sources. Many affiliates abuse that type of traffic. So that's why they're, not, you're, they're usually blocked on most offers. I wouldn't even recommend going into email or incentive um, for the ways that they're mentioning here. Now, I always talk about building an email list, but that's another video altogether. So I'm not gonna talk about that. But uh, as you can see here, these are the traffic sources. So you can also check here what kind of um, traffic they allow. Right now they only allow Hong Kong. So if you don't know how to get Hong Kong traffic, this is not an offer for you. Um, coming down, you'll see the network EPC. This is another important metric that you need to understand. This is the earnings per click for every single time somebody on the network clicks. So on average, the network sees all these clicks coming to this offer and on average it's paying out 38 cents per click to affiliates okay which is a, a good indicator of whether or not the offer is converting well a higher epc means it's a better offer a lower epc either means nobody's running it or it's just not a great converter so you can actually go and see all of the offers here when you go search campaigns you can actually sort by epc right here and you can see what is the highest EPC offer on the network right now. Right now it is the Granite Mail Enhancement. Okay, so that is a Mail Enhancement offer. Obviously doing really well right now at a $5.75 per click, earnings per click, okay? So that is a good indicator. So you can go down and maybe if you're in a particular niche, you would look for your category or your vertical, they call it, and you could check that vertical and see what is the highest EPC offer that I could test in my vertical, okay? So that is basically how I go about choosing offers. Um, I already have a lot of experience over the last decade in running offers. I can tell you right now some of the top niches or the top categories, top verticals in CPA affiliate marketing are Diet Nutra, which is, uh, you know, 
uh, trial offers, keto diet, all these things that you've seen over the years. Garcinia way back in the day, uh, acai berry, which was another one way back in the day. Those are big niches, just like gigantic. You can make thousands and thousands of dollars a day running in the diet niche, but again, it's super competitive. Muscle, skincare, crypto right now is hot. E-commerce is getting huge, which is basically any product you see on Facebook right now being run, like the flashlight, which was two years ago, which was a big hit. Right now we're in the summertime, so you're gonna see a lot of air conditioner or mini air conditioners, wearable air conditioners, all these little things, all trending little gadgets or, or products which are also doing very well. Usually the CPA affiliate will make more than what the customer pays as a commission, okay? So really, lots of opportunity as a CPA affiliate marketer. So now, what is the next step? You found your a network, you've got accepted, you found an offer that you think is going to convert like crazy. Now, what do you do? Do you do you send traffic directly to the offer? Do you set up a funnel? Do you set up a landing page? Well, I can tell you, there are many different strategies and that is the purpose of this YouTube channel is to show many different strategies when it comes to CPA affiliate marketing. If you look at many of the videos on this channel and you subscribe to this channel, you're going to see different case studies, different tactics, different traffic sources, all of that, all related to affiliate marketing and mostly CPA affiliate campaigns, okay? But generally speaking, the best way to begin is to build a landing page, set up tracking, then send traffic to the landing page, okay? So that is the basic thing, and I'm gonna explain exactly what I mean by that. So to build your landing page, you're going to need a tool, and you need to be able to build landing pages quickly. I use what is called Optimize Press. So here is a typical landing page you might see on the internet. It's uh, not the most beautiful landing page here, we'll say, but uh, basically what it starts with is a headline. I use Optimize Press here, which is connected to WordPress. So if you built a WordPress site, you can get the Optimize Press plugin at dayjobhacks.com slash Optimize Press, and you can actually start building pages like this really quickly. As you can see, I have a headline. This is kind of capturing the user. This is also uh, mobile compatible. All of the pages built on Optimize Press are mobile compatible. You can see it has a success story and all this kind of stuff about keto diet. And then at the end, it has some proof. And then lastly, the call to action. Now this isn't a very beautiful page, like I said, but it's an example and this is what I use to build my pages fast. Optimize Press 3.0 and you can actually just use it quickly to build pages. Now, to integrate tracking into this so that I can start split testing landing pages, that is where you need to use a third party tracking tool. And what I use is CPV Lab Pro or BMOB, okay? I actually use both of them. BMOB is a free option, so go to dayjobhacks.com slash BMOB, and you'll see here that the BMOB tracker is actually free for a million events. So if you're just starting out as an affiliate, as a CPA affiliate especially, this is great for you. A million events is plenty for you to get started. That means basically you can just run a ton of traffic right away and see if this is going to work for you without investing a whole bunch of money into a tracking solution. Now I've done a complete training on how to set up BMOB. Again, go to powerhouseaffiliate.com slash action dash plan. It shows you how to set up the landing page with Optimize Press, how to set up the tracking, and how to start getting traffic to that page, okay? So I'm not gonna go into that too much in depth here, but again, you're going to need tracking for your landing pages. Now the other option is for you to just direct link to offers. I don't recommend direct linking to CPA affiliate offers. Many networks will not allow that anyway. You need to have a landing page in place. There are many different types of landing pages. I've done videos. I've done videos on the actual advertorials I'm running. Listicles work really well, especially for Facebook traffic. And we also do lead capture pages such as the one at 25 Day Keto Challenge where we do complete traffic campaigns to collect leads first into our funnel before we start sending people to the CPA affiliate offers. Now, once you have the email subscriber, of course, you can start emailing them even more CPA affiliate offers, and it just keeps snowballing after that. If you can build a list profitably, that is likely your best scenario. Now we wanna get traffic to the landing page. There's many different places to buy traffic. A lot of the biggest affiliates in the world are using Facebook and Google, okay? Those are the two biggest traffic sources in the world and that's why most of the people running there are usually the biggest 
affiliates in the world as well, okay? So there's lots of stuff that you need to know about a Facebook in particular. Facebook doesn't necessarily work extremely well with CPA affiliate offers unless, of course, you know how to get your ads approved and get your, your campaigns active without getting banned for being too aggressive, okay? So don't just go and start firing up ads on Facebook if you aren't familiar with how it works. We've done a complete case study on how and why this is extremely important with Facebook ads. If you go into Powerhouse Affiliate and check out that Facebook case study, you'll see exactly what I mean by that in terms of setting up campaigns that aren't instantly banned. Uh, Google, again, takes a little bit of practice. You need to have a very high quality website to get Google traffic. Where are most affiliates going if they aren't comfortable with Facebook and Google? This is where native ads and push ads are taking over for affiliate marketers, especially new affiliate marketers who are looking to start making money quickly with paid traffic. Push ad networks such as Rich Push um, or Propeller ads also work extremely well. Super cheap traffic like penny clicks. You can get penny clicks to your landing pages. You can do penny clicks direct linking to CPA affiliate uh, or uh, email submit offers. They work really well or sweepstakes. Um, you'll see I've done a case study on a sweepstakes campaign, I believe, and there's another case study coming very soon. So make sure you subscribe to this channel. I'm going to be doing a rich push case study, which is push ads showing how to get super cheap penny clicks to your landing pages as a CPA affiliate network. So make sure again that you subscribe so that you get notified as soon as that video comes out. Um, so push uh, native ads like Rev Content, MGID are places you want to check out. One tool that I highly recommend you check out immediately if you are looking to find exactly how affiliates are generating thousands of dollars every single day. Let me just show you the tool, okay? Go to dayjobhacks.com slash adplexity. And what you'll see here is one of the best spy tools for push ads and native ads especially uh, if you come down here and i click on uh let's click on uh, native and let's check in on what exactly affiliates are doing to generate tons of cash so the best way to do that is come in here and you can start seeing all of these ads that are running basically on many different traffic networks like um, actually they they name all the traffic sources right here so you can see OutbrainMGID.com, Taboola, Rev Content, Content Ad. Um, all of these are native ad platforms. Okay, now if you were to join the uh, the push the the push um, spy tool at Adplexity, you would see all the push ad networks. Okay, so this is the native version, so you can see all the native traffic sources. I can also choose the actual network. So this tool will be able to tell me exactly what people are doing on any single CPA affiliate network. See, now you can see all the networks here, okay? Let's just assume Max Bounty is here somewhere. Uh, let's just say I wanted to see what's going on on Max Bounty. Now I can see every single affiliate's ads that are running on native right now for max bounty offers okay so i can see and if i want i can even select this to put it up to say 10 days so if the ad's been running for 10 days that's more of an indicator that this is a successful ad and i need to kind of reverse engineer this to see what that affiliate is doing so i can do it for myself okay so what i, I want to do is i want to look here and look removing moles skin tags has never been easier okay so if i go into max bounty and search skin tags i'm assuming there should be an offer for skin tags somewhere in here or skin and as you can see there's a ton of skin offers here related to skincare and all of that stuff so I'm assuming it's linked to that somehow this is just basically a general idea of how you would go about this um, and maybe if I wanted to copy that I could click on here and I could even see the affiliates landing page okay I can see it if I wanted I could even download it um, which is, you know, getting a little into the ethical um, game here where you may not want to steal somebody's landing page. You don't want to copy people left and right, but it basically gives you ideas on how to start generating revenue for yourself because you can see that this affiliate's been running this many days. You can see basically <clears throat> where they're, you know, publishing. So these are the placements where they're actually buying the traffic but they're buying it through um, the traffic source. Let's see, 
we can see what traffic source they are using here. So the traffic source here is content ad, content dot ad, another very popular native ads platform. You can go in there, you can sign up, uh, deposit probably a hundred bucks and you can start running ads immediately. And you can even pick out these top placements and start targeting just those placements. Okay. So that's how you do it. Um, very simple strategy. Um, but I, like I said, I, you don't have to come in here and copy exactly what people are doing, but there's just so much opportunity using a tool like this, dayjobhacks.com slash adplexity, and you can basically see all of these ads, and it just keeps loading and loading and loading as you continue to scroll down. So there's just an endless uh, amount of ideas for you. So this should be enough to get you started on CPA affiliate marketing. If you want to see some actual live paid traffic campaigns, <clears throat> come into powerhouseaffiliate.com premium. Check out our case studies. I go into depth on a Facebook ads campaign on push ads, propeller, rich push. Uh, we do Bing ads, Google ads, all of those. You can see live CPA affiliate network campaigns. Check them out. Make sure you like and subscribe to this video channel, I mean, and I'll hopefully see you in the next videos.